What's up, everybody? It's Evil Spectrum 3. How's your season going, man? I hope it's going good for all you guys. This is my favorite thing on the, on the, um, let me, uh, oh my God, the altar, <laughs> the altar right there. That's my favorite thing. Q takes on a shrine effect. Now I know we lost power this year, so that kind of, or this season, they've gotten rid of the power, uh, one, but you've got to just make your way down to that first. That's my, that's m the way I like to play. Once I get to that shrine effect bonus, on the altar, that's when my season kicks into another fun gear. And then I have really a lot of motivation to fill out the rest of the altar. I have a great time. Um, I only have about, you know, an hour to play Diablo 3 a day now, uh, as opposed to years ago when I used to have all day to play. Now I only have an hour a day, and I have three hours in the beginning of the season. So right now I'm about Paragon 600. and But just once you get to that, that point of Q, especially on... Um, where you can hit Q to activate a shrine effect, or, or when you activate a health um, potion, uh, it creates a shrine effect. I mean, you can see that the shrine effects, look at, look at all the stuff that's going on in the bottom of the screen. I mean, that's crazy. Like, you just start cutting through stuff like butter at this point, especially if you're a god DH or, you know, any whatever speed class you're playing or whatever speed you're doing. Most, most of what I enjoy in Diablo 3 is being as fast as possible to farm. I enjoy fast farming right with with a little bit of a push at some point right then i go you know what i'm going to try to augment now and i'm going to try to push something and then i go back to just kind of speed farming until i'm loaded all the way up right so i'm having a pretty damn good time right now in diablo 3 and i haven't even started to um you know what i mean uh i haven't even put any i haven't augmented any gems into my character yet and I only have uh, three ancient items on my character as well. So farming isn't exactly going well for me. Um, but still have the ability to create a primal. You know what I mean? Still can go into the altar and create a primal soon. Although I haven't found any primals. That's the problem. So my farming this season has not been going well. It's actually been a very slow season as far as farming. I've only got the one primal that was guaranteed to me. And I'm Paragon 600. I mean, normally by now I've seen at least three primals. Um, and I've seen none. So the primordial ash, I'm out of that because I spent it on the cube or the altar rather. Um, but you know, so the fact that I'm still having a lot of fun and I haven't even found primals yet. And the fact that I haven't really augmented yet, that's how far behind I am. So all, here's my impression of season 30. Now that we've mixed everything in the only downside to season 30 so far has been the rewards. The rewards are terrible this season. And I, and I know that it's gone into maintenance mode, so maybe they just don't care at this point. But I am shocked because every season you get two different sets of major rewards. This season we only get one. And this season they're terrible. So there is no real reason to play the game other than to have fun discovering the power and seeing how far you can rank in the leaderboards. Um, there's like a pennant and just it's awful. My wife said she probably won't even play this season. Um which is crazy. So I, I wish that there was one last thing the Blizzard could do before this thing goes into full maintenance mode, and that would be to, you know, upload and launch, like, plan out all the cool rewards that the China market, the Chinese market saw all these crazy things, and we saw so many things over the years in Diablo. I really wish that they would plan out, like, you know what, every every year we'll plan out the four seasons in a week, you know, or in a day or something. All right, you know, here's here's the rewards for every season. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, that's done. We'll see you later. But, like, this feels wrong, the rewards this season. It just doesn't feel right at all. So every season, my favorite thing is the excitement of the season and leveling up um, and whatever the new seasonal, you know, theme and stuff is like to interact with. That's, like, number one. Number two is leaderboards. How fast can I rank up the leaderboards? And then number three is what are the rewards? And this season, the rewards are, I mean, this is these are the worst rewards I've seen since maybe like season two, three, four, five or something. So that's the only problem with the season so far. How is your season going, guys? In the comments down below, do you have questions, comments, things you want to say? Hopefully people watch this video because I'm still playing Diablo 3. And so far, Diablo 4 has not been able to match up to the excitement that I have playing Diablo 3. Other than the fact that, you know, Diablo 3 is, you know, pretty repetitive. We've been playing it a long time and 
Diablo 4 doesn't have to do too much to make me more excited about the new girl on the block, but it's just kind of like falling flat for me after a certain amount of time, and I, and I, I find myself not very interested in Diablo 4 uh, at all at this point. So, I mean... I, I think I will once again try to play it in Season 3 here, but again, it's just Diablo 4's seasons right now feels like Diablo 3's first 10 seasons, which were kind of blah, and that's what it feels like. So I'd rather play Diablo 3 Season 30. What are your thoughts? Leave them in the comments down below. Evil Spectrum 3. I'll see you guys later.